Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's about 3.15 p.m. I just got home and there's three cats on the bed. There might have even been four cats on the bed, but Boo came to greet me, so I don't know if he was laying on the bed with the other cats. But this is what they do. This is how they like to spend the afternoon on the bed. I bought a duck for the cats because they've never had fresh duck before. And I am going to be making homemade raw food from this duck. Um, I got this at Stu Leonard's. It was $3.99 a pound. This is a 5.5 ounce bird. And I'm not looking forward to opening this package or preparing this duck or grinding it or anything like that. I am perfectly happy living my life as a vegan or a fruitarian and never eating animal products, wearing animal products, uh, or having to kill an animal for food. So I hate doing this, but the cats are obligate carnivores and they require meat in order to be healthy. And it's way cheaper for me to buy this duck, which was almost $22 for 5.5 pounds of food. When I add some additional ingredients to it, it'll be around six pounds of food. And if I bought a bag of commercial raw food, a three pound bag is about $35. So six pounds of commercial raw food could be about $70. So I just saved about $50 by making it myself. And that's what I'm gonna do. This is what the ground duck looks like. And the first thing I notice is that it is really fatty. There's a lot of fat on this duck. There's way more fat on this duck than there is um, in like a chicken, for example. Um, so I wish I had some other meat defrosted that I can also grind up and mix with this duck uh, but I don't right now I mean unless I run to the store and get some which I don't really feel like doing um, but yeah this is what the uh, ground duck looks like it is 5 25 p.m. and I just got the kitchen all cleaned up after making about three pans full of food for the cats and um, I just fed Hydrox so he's getting some homemade raw food with some warmed up chicken broth. If he eats all of that, then I can give him a can of food. But first I wait until he eats that. And then the inside cats want to eat now also, so I'll probably feed them too. The cats are getting homemade raw food for dinner with some warmed up chicken broth mixed in and some crunchies on top. And this is what Boo does. He smells it and then he goes and he rubs against the scratcher and then he says he wants to eat on the steps because he's a king. Okay, King Boo, you gonna eat there? You gonna eat there, King Boo? Cause that's all you're getting. Boo, eat your food. So right now the dishwasher is on in the kitchen. That's what's making a bunch of noise. And Hydrox is outside meowing and Ditto is visiting and Ditto might be meowing also. And now I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna give them a can of food also. So there's Hydrox, he's outside eating another half a can of food. Um, I have this little pot and this is where I mix up the food. So I dumped in the 5.5 ounce can of turkey and giblets and I'm out of warmed up broth. I just took some out of the freezer, but I put some warm water in it and, and I mixed it up. And then I went outside. And I put half of it in this bowl for Hydrox, and I brought another bowl out for Ditto, and I put half in that bowl. And then I held out the little fork to Hydrox because he was like coming right up to me. As I'm pouring the food in the bowl, he's like a foot away from me watching me. And I'm like, okay, this is good. So I hold the little fork out to him, and he hits it with his paw. So I hold it out again, and he keeps hitting it with his paw, and he hit it so hard, he knocked it out of my hand, and it went flying across the patio. This is a strong cat, and he can be vicious when he wants to be, because I'm really happy he hit the fork and not my hand, because my hand would have been torn to shreds, and there goes Ditto, and every time I see Ditto, Ditto looks like he uh, is getting 
bigger and bigger. So Ditto's definitely well fed this uh, winter. I don't know where he's getting his food, but he's obviously getting getting some quality food. It's 7 a.m. Stella's watching birds. It's 9 a.m. I'm just about to head out. And Stella's laying on the bed. And Boo's been running around the house and playing. Look what he did to the tablet. This is what he did to the tablet. Somehow he turned it orange. I don't know how he did that. But somehow he did. I don't know if he put on, like, the, um, the anti-blue light filter or what. But when I get back later, i got to figure out what he did. And here's Simba. Let me tell you about what's going on with Simba. So Simba and Splash were up most of the night running around the house like a herd of elephants. That's what it sounded like. They woke me up a few times around 4 o'clock in the morning. And I got out of bed to see what was going on, make sure everyone was okay. Because I heard some, like, crashing and banging noises and everyone was fine but Simba like he wanted crunchies or something in the middle of the night he's like you know definitely he was following me all around the house and jumping up on the bed if I was in the bedroom or just around my feet wherever I was but I was like Simba I'm going to bed I'm not giving you anything right now so just now I went downstairs because I needed to put the raw food that I made yesterday into bags in the freezer and he was following me all around and he also started following me up the stairs and halfway up the stairs he just stopped so i don't know if he hurt his leg again i don't know if it was because boo was on top of the stairs i don't know what but simba wants some food and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up a small can of food like a three ounce can and i'm gonna split it four ways they could each have like a little snack this morning because they ate out of their automatic feeders for breakfast and they each got one of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets. And that's it. There were no crunchies, nothing. They just got one of the Rabbit Nuggets. And since there's four cats and four feeders, like, I don't know that each cat got a nugget. It could be that Splash ate two nuggets and Stella ate two nuggets and Simba did not get any and Boo did not get any. Or it could be that Simba ate everyone's nuggets and he's just still hungry. Or it could be that they each got their own nugget. I don't know. So I'm gonna give them a little bit canned food right now. They're all splitting a small can of the And I Love and You uh, turkey food. So they should like that. Splash smelled his and he doesn't want it. And Stella wants to eat over here in her rug. I don't know if she's out of sorts today. I don't know if she's mad at me. I don't know if she's tired. Maybe she didn't get much sleep because the boys were running around all night. I don't know. It is 5.27 p.m. and Hydrox is getting duck soup for dinner. Uh, these are two of the duck nuggets with warm water and I put too much water in there. So he's getting soup. Hopefully he'll eat this. Okay, so he went straight over to it and he's eating it. So it's good for him to get the liquid. And it's warm. It's not hot. It's just nice and warm. And it is very fatty. That duck was very fatty. So... Hopefully he'll finish what's in that bowl. When I made the duck yesterday, after I ground up the duck, I added probably like a cup of canned pumpkin. Um, and then I added like a teaspoon or two of the wheatgrass powder, the amazing grass blend that I use. I think it's wheatgrass, barley grass, and alfalfa. It's, it's just grasses. It's like um, dehydrated cat grass. And did I add anything else to it? Um, I added a few pinches of kelp for the iodine and for trace minerals. And I don't remember if I added anything else. I did not want to add any additional fat. So I did not add any salmon oil or anything like that because it was so fatty already. Um, and I wanted to leave it pretty plain um, just to see how the cats like the duck itself. Look at this. Hydrax really enjoyed that. He's like done already. So it ended up making two and a half 
bags of food, and when I say bags of food, I mean like gallons of black bags. I did not count how many scoops. I used the small scoop, so that way I could put it in the automatic feeders for the cats in the morning. So like each scoop would be one serving for one cat. Um, but I was happy that it made about two and a half bags. So it probably made a little bit more than six pounds of food, which is good. All right, so Hydrex is done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a can of food and I'll give him a can of food. So if he wants more, he could eat more. And if he doesn't, one of the other cats or animals can finish it. I just gave Hydrox a can of turkey and giblets with warm water mixed in. And he came right back up to finish eating it. I guess I should say to start eating it because he had, he had moved away onto the patio. He was grooming himself. I guess he thought he was done with his dinner. And then when he saw me put this out, he came back up here to eat it. And here's Boo. Boo likes to know what's going on. So the inside cats are going to eat in a little while. First, uh, I need to do their water, give them fresh water, and their litter, scoop out the litter, and then they'll get their dinner. It's like the, the cat routine. Water, litter, dinner. How you doing, Boo? Boo, you like watching Hydrox eat his food? Boo says, how come he gets a full can of food all to himself? And I have to share everything with the inside cats. The cats are gonna try the brand new homemade duck cat food for dinner. They're getting one scoop each. Move over, Stella. Okay. Okay, yeah. You move over there. Bo, you eat yours. You're gonna eat that one. Splash wants pets. Okay, go eat your food, Splash. You eat it. You eat it, Splash. I had to move Splash's plate over near him. So like anytime there's a new food to try, Splash kind of backs away from it at first and then he'll come back and eat it. But I have to make sure the other cats don't eat it. And here's Stella and Simba. They seem to be enjoying it. Stella's looking at splashes like, uh oh, there goes Simba. Eat your food, boo. Eat it. I literally just put two crunchies on Boo's food because it already had crunchies on it. And he has to see me put the crunchies on it. Then he'll try it. I hope he likes it. Now Hydrox is meowing at the back door. I think he wants more food, but he's going to have to wait because i got to deal with all these cats now. And then here's Simba. If Boo doesn't eat his food, Simba's going to try to eat it. i got to pick Simba up and move him. So here's what's going on with Stella's plate and Simba's plate. Stella ate about half of hers, and Simba ate about a third of his, and he's going back to his to eat it. And we'll see how it goes if someone comes back and eats Stella's or, or what the deal is. I don't know if they're going to like duck. But then again, this is the first time they're having it, so... Sometimes just the newness of something. Sometimes they don't respond well to the newness of something and they have to try it a few times. It is 8.28 a.m. and Stella is taking a nap on top of the cat tower in the bedroom. The cats all had breakfast out of the automatic feeders today. It's a new routine. Boo's been hanging out in the round cat beds this morning. He hasn't really been sleeping or napping. He's been pretty alert. He's just been watching what's going on outside and what's going on inside also. How you doing, Boo? This is Boo's automatic feeder. So it went off about 7 a.m. and it had one of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets in it. And when it went off, Boo was in one of the round cat beds in the living room. I was sitting in the living room working on my computer at the time. And I watched him jump down from the round cat bed where he was and just leisurely walk across the room, across the hallway, and into his room. And then I heard him eating his food. So that was really great. 
And here's Splash. He's hanging out on one of the dining room chairs. So he's under the dining room table, but he's on top of the chair. And this is one of his favorite places to hang out. I guess because he feels like he can get away from everyone. And um, so that's where he is. And Simba was laying in this cat bed earlier, but I don't know where he is now. I can't find him. It's 9.09 .09 a.m. I was in the kitchen emptying the dishwasher, and all of a sudden I heard Hijax just meowing and meowing and meowing. He must have heard me in the kitchen because he's pretty much right outside of it, like on the patio. And so I opened the back door and he just came over and he was meowing at me. And Boo wants to know what's going on, so I'm gonna go give Hydrax some food. I had this container of chicken in the freezer. Um, I don't know, it was from some time when I made chicken. Maybe I was making soup for the cats or something. And um, so this has been in the freezer for a while. And I defrosted it, and I'm gonna give some of this to Hydrax, but look at this. I just gave some of it to Boo, and he actually ate it which is pretty amazing because Boo doesn't always eat chicken. The inside cats hardly ever eat cooked chicken. When I try to give it to them, they usually turn their noses up at it, but good boy, Boo. I put some of the shredded chicken in four different bowls that are outside on the patio. I put it in both bowls of the heated kitty cafe and I put it in this paper bowl and I put it in another one of the stainless steel bowls Ditto was just here. He came to see what was going on. Then he walked away, so if he comes back, he can eat it. Um, and if he doesn't come back, Hydrox has plenty of chicken. And Boo is on his third piece. That's his third piece, so I'm gonna clean up all these stray pieces and I'll put this on the tray. Hydrox just finished everything that was in this paper bowl. And now he's working on the chicken that was in the stainless steel bowl. He's doing a good job with it. I did try to shred it up as much as possible, but it's, it's good for him to chew it. It is 6.11 p.m. and there's Hydrox. He's eating some dinner. I gave him two scoops of the homemade raw food uh, the one made from the duck and he really enjoyed that yesterday so I gave him some more and if he eats this I'll give him some canned food it would be nice if Hydrox had a consistent appetite um, but you know sometimes he's really hungry eats a ton of food and other times I put food out and it just goes to waste and uh, I have no idea who ends up eating it and I don't like doing that, so. Yeah, he really enjoys this food. He's almost done with it. And here's Boo. And Simba's on the steps. And Splash is downstairs on the rug. Can you see all three of them? It looks really bright down there. I don't know why. I just have the regular lights on. And Hydrox finished his food. He licked that bowl clean. So I'm gonna make a can of food for him. And then I'll feed the inside cats. All the other cat chores have been done. They have fresh water. The litter has been scooped out. It is 6.36 p.m. and Hydrox is eating his second can of food. These are 5.5 ounce cans. And I mixed water into this one also. And this is what he's getting. This is it. No more after this. He had raw food. He had a 5.5 ounce can. And now he's having his second 5.5 ounce can. So it's practically an entire pound of food when you add it all together. Uh, the inside cats had their dinner. They had a can of the wholehearted cat food, the ocean fish recipe. They had that with some water mixed in and that was split four ways. And they each had like maybe a teaspoon of crunchies on top. 
And right now Stella's hanging out on the rug downstairs and Boo is licking the plates clean. Whatever's left on the plates, he's licking them clean. It's about 9 p.m. Boo's been laying in the round cat bed with this firecracker. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.